It is Wednesday, March 13th, 2013. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. New evidence that ancient Mars could have supported organic life. Our own science guy, Lee Holtz, he is here to explain. Lee, welcome. I appreciate your being here. So the Mars Curiosity rover up there doing some work. What exactly did it, did it dig up? Well, NASA sent this robot, this $2.5 billion robot, to Mars to answer a single question. That was, was uh, Mars ever suitable? Hospitable. Hospitable for life. And yesterday, uh, NASA got up in Washington, D.C. and announced that the answer to that question is yes. And that's a big answer. <laughs> it's a big answer, and it comes with a lot of caveats. But what they're saying is that maybe three billion years ago, more or less, give or take a few hundred million years, which is about the time that life was arising on Earth, uh, the chemistry, the soil conditions, uh, the water on Mars was suitable, hospitable, for at least simple microbes. Now, that's the, uh, that's the headline. The caveats are... The conditions are, were there. These are deductions, very yeah. sort of uh, subtle and intricate deductions based on an analysis of the chemistry of the rocks that are there today. So this is very much uh, a kind of Sherlock Holmes sort of thing. I mean, that's, it's, you're, you're basing this conclusion on much, on much as what's not there as what is. One of the things this probe cannot do it is not equipped to detect uh, microbial activity today. Mm -hmm. If it was sitting on top of a pile of microbial bacterial fossils, it would not be able to detect them. But that said, this is pretty extraordinary. So what we know, just to, just to, to break it down, we know that life, as you said, could have been hospitable. There could have been, the conditions could have been hospitable for life, but we don't know indeed if there was organic life there. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now, previous missions, previous rovers in Mars over the last 10 years have done uh, you know, surface soil analysis and whatever, and they've always found that the conditions were too acidic or too alkaline or too salty or whatever for organic life as we know it. So what's new here is they drilled into a rock, they drilled below the surface of Mars for the first time and uh, pulled out, I mean, barely a tablespoon full of of uh, grit, mudstone, which they believe uh, with some certainty formed in water. Uh, by analyzing that grit, they were able to sort of pull out uh, a whole spectrum of uh, suitable and interesting chemistry. That's what they base this, uh, this claim on, on, this claim on. And would that make Mars the only planet besides Earth that, that we know of that supported, could have supported organic life? That's exactly right. This is the first time that NASA or anyone reputable has come out and said there is strong evidence for us to say somewhere other than Earth could have supported life. Now, that said, there are other spots in the solar system, uh, moons of Saturn or Jupiter, that uh, some people feel, uh, astrobiologists they call themselves, are, are very uh, optimistic, could uh, harbor oceans uh, under their ice ski crust or whatever, or inside the volcanoes that uh, erupt on the surface that might also be suitable for life, but we don't know that yet. And Mars right now, not suitable. the conditions there are not suitable for organic life. Uh, right now, Mars is like the inside of an autoclave. I mean, it is, it's cold, it's arid, um, it's lifeless, it's bathed continuously in sterilizing UV radiation and cosmic rays from space. Um, the surface is lifeless. And the water, and they basically were saying one of the things was they said that the water that back then, back in ancient Mars, could have been safe enough, pure enough to drink? Well, they said that yesterday. Uh, uh, in fact, when I asked them about it, I, 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 actually, I, I, I played you. I said, would you tell me in a simple declarative sentence what this actually means? And they said, you know, the water there, if you were there then, this would have been pure enough for you to drink. That's really a bit of a stretch. Still a pretty, pretty interesting finding. It is. All right. It is. Lee Holtz, thanks so much for being with us. More on WSJ.com.